Welcome back to the next video in my Beginner's Lightroom course where I am showing you all the great features that Adobe Lightroom can offer. In the last video, I briefly discussed the benefits and the costs of Lightroom. And in this video, it is all about how to download, install and get Adobe Lightroom Classic up and running. Hi everyone, Richard here and welcome back to my channel. Um, first up, a little bit of history if you're new to the channel today. My name's Richard and I have been a professional photographer since about 2009 and a user and a big fan of Adobe Lightroom since well, at least 2014. So I am really familiar with how it works and the benefits it can bring to a photographer's workflow. Now this series of videos is all about Lightroom Classic, from looking at the plans and packages available to downloading and installing it on your computer. And once that's done, I'm gonna move on to all the modules within Lightroom and all the powerful editing features that Lightroom offers. I am hoping each video will be no longer than five or 10 minutes, but at a later date, we may dive into some of the features in a little bit more detail, so there may be longer videos when that time comes. So why not subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you can be sure you get to see all the videos as they are released. And leave a comment down below if there is anything you would like to know for future videos, and I will make sure to cover that too. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in the last video I talked about what Lightroom is and the benefits it brings and what it costs. And if you want to start with that video, then there is a link in the description down below. So feel free to watch that first and then head back here once you've decided which apps and which software you'd like. So otherwise, let's now look at how we download and install Adobe Lightroom Classic. Now I am based in the UK, so we are going to be doing this from the UK website, but I would imagine it would be similar from all the other countries too. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is head over to adobe.com forward slash UK and click on creativity and design and click on Adobe Creative Cloud. Then you have to click where it says buy now. Now these are obviously what the screens look like now and it obviously could change depending on when or where you're watching this video but you're basically looking for the buy now or the plans, packages and pricing page or sign up or something like that to get your first Adobe account. Um, and once you've, once you've done that, make sure you click on the uh, For Me tab and once there you're going to see quite a few packages and plans to choose from. Now down this left hand side are the categories and we are obviously going to focus on photography and this is going to show you all the fo photography related plans, that was close. Um, they obviously want people to buy the full Monty so this option is always highlighted on I think every page. Uh, look out for any deals but check the small print because at the time of recording um, this deal is only valid for three months I think and then when it goes back up to the full price of over £50 for the remaining nine months of the 12 month contract so bear that in mind. As we're talking about the photography package and that gives you Lightroom, Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. Ignore this price here, don't worry too much about that because if you click on the plans and prices you're going to see two options, 1997 for the plan plus one terabyte of storage but there's also a 20 gigabyte version, gig version, which is what I have. Check this box and you can see the amount changes to 9.98 a month. Just know that if you pay for the whole year, you are gonna save a whopping 55 pence. Okay, so once you've signed up for an Adobe, Adobe, I keep saying Adobe, Adobe account, you get the chance to download the apps you want. Now here is a recording of that process, but it is done on my old MacBook Air. So the resolution isn't as good, but I thought it was important I showed you the process. So I uninstalled it from my MacBook and I've reinstalled it um, and recorded it at the same time so you can see kind of what to expect. Simply put, when you purchase your package, um, you see the option to download the apps that you get within that package. Find those apps. Um, you, there may be some apps on there that you don't want um, and download the ones that you do want. 
you will also see the option to download the Creative Cloud app, which I find really useful as it has easy access to your account, your apps, and any updates that those apps are giving you. Uh, it's kind of like a gateway to your Adobe account and you'll see, um, like I say, what programs or apps are available to you. So definitely worth downloading that because you can also see what apps you might want to upgrade to as well in the future. Um, so installation, it might take a while depending on your network, uh, the speed of your PC or your laptop, and this has been sped up and we've skipped some bits here to just to, for the interest of time. Once installed, definitely add to keep in dock, and then you are ready to open up and explore the program. And here is the Creative Cloud app, which is a great way of seeing your apps and keeping them up to date, like I mentioned a few minutes ago. And finally, and I did mention this in the last video, I'm gonna show you really quick the different modules within Lightroom Classic. We're not gonna look at them now, I'm just gonna go through them, super quick mode. Um, you've got the library module, where you manage your photos, your metadata, your keywords, things like that, which we'll come on to in the next video, I think. Uh, the develop module is where you turn your simple photos that you've taken into the works of art that you've always wanted. Um, and the map module, which I really like this module. Um, it's great for seeing where you took your photos. You can put GPS coordinates in and things like that. And there's also a, a book module, slideshow module, print module, and a web module as well. More on all of those pages uh, in future videos. But in the interest of keeping it short and sweet, that is it for this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the next video in the series, which is an introduction to the library module, when we'll look at all the panels, what they do, best way to use them, um, and how to get set up for sort of importing your first photo. So thank you for watching. My name's Richard, and I'll see you in the next video.